Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the addressable to upload game content to the internet and download it to your build. In this example we are going to use Google Cloud Storage. You can search it on Google and just go to the console. Make sure you enable all your building. You can go to this page later on. So we start with an empty project here with Unity 2019.3. We go to Window. Package Manager, we search for Adjustable, click Install. In this case, we are using the version 1.1.10. Wait for the install to complete. And now we have the Adjustable in our window, Asset Management, Adjustable. We can click Create a new setting. Now the setting is generated in this folder and this file. Later on, we will click on the build remote catalog and we will change the remote load path later on. But now we are going to just dock this addressable here and make a small example to show how addressable works. Create a new folder for scripts and a new folder for prefabs. In the script folder, we are going to create a new example script and create a new game object in your scene to attach the script with. We are trying to load an addressable from the script. To load an addressable from the script, you need an asset reference. Asset reference is using the Unity Game Engine addressable asset. Make sure you import this one. And we just trying to load this asset in the start. Instantiate a sync. Once you compile your script, now you have a serialized field to select the asset you want to instantiate with. But currently, we don't have any asset. How do we create a new asset? Just right click. We are trying to create a new asset. Example asset. We are just making a cube here. And make sure you make it a prefab. Drag and drop to the prefab folder. Now, you can mark it addressable from the project window. Make sure you are not selecting the hierarchy. Hierarchy don't have the accessible addressable mark box here. The mark box is right here. When you click on it, it will be recognized by the adjustable system here. Now you can change to the example code and you can find your prefab here. Just delete this one and we can try to run it. Now the script is instantiating and addressable from code here. Okay, after this one, we try to change the adjustable setting from local, currently it's local, to remote. We click on this group here, and we change from local build path to remote build path, to remote load path. Now we are going to build this object. We can find the build in Show Explorer from Asset. Here is the server data. Everything built will be default direct to server data here. In this case, we are I'm using the Windows. So here is the data generated. But if we try to run here, it will still work because our play mode is fast mode. Fast mode will always work, but if we change to packed play mode, it's not going to work because the remote load path is on the wait. 
The remote load path is on localhost. I don't have a localhost yet. So in this case, we are going to use a remote load path to direct to the Google Cloud Platform. We are going to create a new bucket for Google Cloud Platform. Example, addressable, just a random name, random area, standard. Make sure you click uniform for this one. And we just create. Uniform access, make sure all the permission in your bucket is the same for everyone. Like we have to change the permission on Google Cloud. If you are using Amazon S3, it's more easy because the permission you don't have to change a lot. But here you have to add members or user. And select a row under storage, storage object viewer. Then everyone can have the view access to your bucket. Otherwise, it's private to yourself. Now we can upload the folder. We are going to upload the whole folder for the standard standalone Windows. Make sure here public access is public. And you will have the link, link icon here for every object, every bundles. You, if you right click on it and copy address links. If you copy and paste from a new window, and you can click enter to download the bundle here. So now your Google Drive, Google Storage is working. The link is also working. You just need to copy the address just before the standalone windows because it's automatically included in the build path. We are going to the addressable setting here. We are changing the remote load path. We are not going to load from localhost. We are going to load from the Google Cloud. Just copy and paste the whole thing. Make sure everything is correct. The build target is default to Windows in this time. So we just leave the build path there. And now we can check the link is correct. It's not correct, it's double dash. So there's something wrong here. Okay, now it's correct. So now the project will try to load the asset from the Google Cloud. It's not working. Okay, so sometimes if you get this error, which means when you click view, all the setting will be built into the addressable. Like if you change here for the path, but it will not be recognized. You have to click build again, build player content again, in order to make it working. But if you build a new content, you must also replace everything you already built. So this become garbage now. Just remove them and put your new asset here. Now you can run it. You see it's now working. So we are in the packed play mode. The next step is to try to build this into Windows. Double click. You can see our object has been loaded to the window. But one very important thing to mention about is that it will not work in production environment because you didn't take this build remote catalog. So, which means although your build is currently loading the asset from the Google Cloud, but it won't be able to update the content. In order to be able to update the content, you must check this box and you build the cache into the remote build path as well. It must be included. So now everything is ready to update the online content. So we just delete everything here. Because it's the old stuff. Those stuff doesn't have the remote 
catalog enabled. We have to rebuild everything. Make sure this time is your last time to click the build player content button. Otherwise, if you click it once more, it will change everything to your build. You have to build your build again. Make sure you just click it once from now in order to update the content. Now you have the new build for your asset bundle. Now you have two more files from here. This will let the addressable know that the content is changing. We just put everything inside the same folder. And we can build a new one now. Desktop select folder. So let's try. Okay, successfully load the cube from the Google Cloud. Now we are going to change our example asset from a cube to a sphere, like this one, sphere. Remember, do not hit build player content. We build for content update. When we click this one, it will need a bin folder which is currently Windows, just to click the bin file. And now here, this one is the new Sphere prefab to upload. If we just delete everything and put everything inside and try to run our previous build. Now you got the sphere. Okay, congratulations. This is how Unity works with the addressable to upload and download content from the internet. It also works on Android. Make sure your folder is correct. Make sure you didn't accidentally hit this build player content button. It will invalidate everything you built before. For example, if you are building a build uh, with the previous player content, it will not work anymore if you hit this button. If you once hit this button, you have to do a new build for Android, iOS, or everything else. So thank you for watching.